And remember this. He will never allow more to come upon us than what we can bear. He knows how much you can handle. He knows how strong or how weak you are. He knows whether or not you're going to cave in under pressure. Pressure is placed upon us sometimes in order for us to grow stronger and have a closer walk with him, a closer relationship with him. We may not like the pressure, but because of our relationship with God, he wants us to grow to that level that he has for us down the road. God has something for you down the road. I'm sure five years ago, Deacon Lord did not know that he would be standing behind the pulpit preaching. Ten I better say 15 years ago, because I've been in the ministry longer. I better say 20 years ago. I did not know that I would be here standing behind the pulpit preaching to you. Matter of fact, I know I wasn't going to be here preaching to you. But thanks be to God, I'm here. Thanks be to God, I'm here to worship him. I'm here to praise him. And I know that if God was all in the mix of that, he was training me, he was preparing me, even back then, for this time. Because he knows what's down the road, where we don't. So I thank God for the trials that I went through, and the tribulations that I went through, to before I got to this point. And I even thank God for the ones I'm going to go through, because I know he's continuing to grow in me. He's continuing to feed me and, and let me know that he's there for me and he cares for me because he knows what's down the road for me. And I want to be ready to receive whatever it is. But you know what? Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all. <laughs> Obedience is better than sacrifice. We must pass the test of obedience in order to be blessed. God wants to bless us. He wants to bless all of us. But he also wants us to be obedient and faithful to him. If you want to be blessed, then you have to pass the test. And this explains why sometimes good men and good women are afflicted. In order for them to be more effective in their sanctification process. Because it is a process. Sometimes you got to go through that process to reach your goal that God has for you in your life. The more things uh, God brings us through, the greater witness we are. All the pain, all the suffering that Job went through, he was not going to be denied in the end. He lost all of his possessions. All of those things that we think are so important in our lives. All the bling and all the clothes and cars and houses and all the, the things that we, we, we want in our lives that we think are so important. Job lost all that. He owned cattle and he owned property. He owned... He had servants, and, and he had uh, children, and he lost all of that. His animals and his servants, all of them. But you know what? He never lost his faith. He never lost his hope. He never lost his joy. And he never lost his praise. Praise God. He never lost his praise. Satan came back and, and he smote Job with swords and boils all over his body. He lost his wealth, he lost his family, and he lost his health. His wife told him to curse God and die. You shouldn't always listen to your wife. Most of the time, but not always. <laughs>
But Job said, naked I came into this world out of my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. He's allowed it to be taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And in all this, Job sinned not. Neither did he curse God and die. When we read the stories like this in the Bible, it should encourage us. It should inspire us. It should instruct us in how to handle our trials and our tribulations. Delay is not denial. God is saying, I have a blessing waiting for you in the spirit realm. But you are just not ready to receive it. You have some growing to do. You're not spiritually strong enough to receive it yet. God's got a blessing with your name on it. And he is waiting for you. He is dealing, he is being patient with you. Patient is one of the fruit. Long suffering. That's patience. He does not want to deny you of anything. For there's no good thing that he will withhold from them who walk uprightly. Walk in the spirit. Be led by the spirit. Submit to God and resist the devil. The story of Job shows us that God is sovereign and he possesses all power and is the ruler of all things and the judge of all men. God gives Satan permission to tempt Job. He wouldn't ask permission to tempt Job. And God gave him permission, but he told him, you can do what you will, but don't take his life. God has all power in his hands and not the enemy. God has given us the power through the Holy Spirit to resist the devil. The devil does not have all power. Some people say the devil doesn't have any power, but I say the devil does have some power. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many people following him. That gives him a certain amount of power. But you know, God has more power. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Don't allow the devil to take you places that you don't intend to go, that you never wanted to go, because he'll do that. We have to resist him. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, Temptation taketh you but such as common to man. But God is faithful to who? will not suffer. God is faithful to who will not suffer to be tempted. Above that, ye are able. But will with temptation also make a way of escape, that ye may be able to bear it. So what this is saying is, he will from time to time, or we will from time to time be tempted. There's no question about that. We're going to be tempted from time to time. But God is going to make a way of escape. If we look to him for our help, he will give us that way out. He will open that door, open that window. He will give us that way out, but we have to look for it. We have to want it. He will not violate your will. We are instructed to be sober and vigilant because our adversary, the devil, devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whoever he allows to come into their life. If you allow the devil to come in, he's going to come in. He's going to devour you. Our way of escape is to draw closer to God in prayer. Get in the word of God and read the scriptures. Scriptures that will encourage you to overcome. Even Jesus was tempted in the wilderness. And he literally threw the book at the devil. He didn't pick it up and throw it, but the word, he was the word. It came out of his mouth. Jesus was the word. He threw the book at him. Jesus' response to Satan was, it is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the word of the mouth of God. It is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the 